back here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm working with that sketch and I already kind of did it because this took quite some time and then I thought I might as well just video it. So I basically cut a heart out and then out of a white of a like a thin piece of paper you know, like old school folded in half traced it and then had even proportions on each side. Then I traced that onto an orange and I cut that out and then I took it again and traced it at a different angle and then took my pokey tool and poked a whole bunch of dots and I did red stitching, just a nice little quick back stitch, stitch all the way around that. And here I have three photos that I have used this yellow cardstock to make it look like a um, Polaroid. I'm going to go ahead and use these two punches to punch out some hearts to go around the page as that sketch had showed. Um, that sketch was just, I had a whole bunch of sketches that were on my Pinterest page and I basically printed them all out and I have been kind of pulling from them because what's the point of having them on your page and liking them if you're never going to use those? So I mean some of them I just used for kind of an inspiration and this one I kind of followed. So I'm going to go ahead and take these hearts and also about the three pictures um and right here I'm, i decide i want to make some little fun lines and why i stuck that down so that did you see how hard i pressed that down seriously not a good idea anyway i just take my brown staler pen and then i'm like why did i do that and i get a couple of little fun lines on these and i do the small hearts as well um anyway those pictures were this year in october I had been working with my rescue pit, who, you know, someone thought was disposable, right? But guess what? She's not. She's really smart. Because I taught her how to shake, and actually I taught her how to sit first, and that was her first trick. Learning to shake was her second trick. And now she, <laughs> now she jumps up when I ask her to jump up into my hands, like her paws in my hands, and gives me a kiss on the cheek. So she's no longer a two-trick pony. It took me a while to get that third and fourth trick out of her. But the fourth fourth came pretty easy because she likes to give kisses. So anyway, that was me teaching her to shake. And that's her shaking. <laughs> um, to me, that's something important. I don't know, it's a scrapbook. So later on, I can look back and be like, I finally had a dog that I could train. <laughs> so right here, I do take these. And it takes me a minute to get these off of the page, right? Like because I use liquid adhesive, so I couldn't just pull it up because everything was kind of slidey. So I just rolled it off my mat, and I sprinkle those around the page, and I will come back and add more in just a minute. Now, this next part here is still true to the layout, to the sketch, but after, but this is, you know, I get kind of the element down here that they have, and then I go way off this Kindle because this was looking so plain. And I was like, I need lots more. So let's just punch as many hearts as we can out of this little scrap. Call that good. And then uh, I'm going to trim up some foam tape. I'm going to go ahead and take the pin again and just make these all look fun. So I'm going to go ahead and stick this guy true to the page or flat to the page, not true to the page. Huh? And then I'm going to take this little, I'm going to mark all these guys up. And I kind of do it off screen because they were sitting there and then I realized I was off screen. So I, I brought you back. And then I'm just going to take a strip of the foam and I kind of make a little cluster of them straight across. And there was only five hearts down there. So I put more than that. I'm going to go ahead and put my journaling right there. And it just says, Be Learn to Shake, October 2020. I do try to do my little blurb of journaling in the moment. Otherwise, I'm not I'm not going back and journaling, guys. I'm not. Like, that's just... I know some people do. I could not. Like, I watched Nicole Jones 911, and she goes back and, like, journals. Like, she's got hundreds of layouts that needs to have journaling on it. I'd never do it. I'd just have hundreds of journaling without layout. Without... A hundred of layouts without journaling on it. Like, couldn't do it. So right here is where I get this kind of stuck down and I do have to move them around so you can't see that blue foam underneath it. But I'm thinking, yep, yeah, I like that. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the next couple and I do add three. And we're just gonna trim that little guy off as well. And I do futz with it just so you cannot see the blue. I get it to where I like it. We're going to throw some adhesive on it. We're going to put that on the other side. That is where my title was supposed to go. 
I'm gonna move the title to the top. I do go ahead and get these next couple flat to the page. And then we're gonna come in with the, my little sticker book and then, oh, these little guys, I'm sorry, my little glitter leaves. I do pop two of them around the page just to add a little bit more sparkle and shine. I tried to go for a third one, but it just looked like it was forced. And so I'm like, no, I just like two, it's fine. Because this is, you know, fall. And this is from my fall stash for November 2020, so just using all the fall things. And, oh, these, I bought these from uh, Cherry on Top. They are little buttons, and it's a bee, and she's a bee. So I'm gonna go ahead and I trim that off and then I show you right there. I do trim it with my scissors and then I come in with my X-Acto knife and I get it flat. Well, flat-ish. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and stick the B right there. It's just something fun that I've been doing that I decided to do, not been doing, I've been, I decided to do was to add a B onto a lot of her layouts. So right here I take some old glitter glue from uh, Walmart. This is Studio G brand. <laughs> And uh, yeah, it sucks. I get that popped around the page and then I'm gonna try to smear it. I do go ahead and take my little sticker book and I'm gonna add some of these little word phrases along the pictures. And I'm right now, I'm just reading. I'm trying to find out what will, I guess, be appropriate. And I, uh, I get two of those added on there. And then I'm gonna try to see if I can make my title out of that. That's not gonna work. Right here I am gonna pull out these wood green looking hearts and I sprinkle those around the page as well. And I do the opposite on them that I did on the other hearts. I grab my white jelly roller and I do make some lines on them but I make them different than I made on the other punched out hearts. And this is where you gotta be careful. Oh yeah, see right there? Oh, got it. Dinged it. Talk about what I'm gonna see. I told you I was gonna try to smear that liquid glue that I just, that glitter glue I just put on there. I did a good job. So I just get a couple of those marked around. Oh, and I'm pointing right there because fiance is in another room crafting with Becky. <clears throat> what he calls my channel. And um, he's talking about making stickers and I was freaking dying. I was laughing so hard. This is gonna serve as my title. And after that, we're going to be done. Please give me a thumbs up if you like the layout. Click that subscribe button below. And I'll see you guys next time for my next video. What am I doing?